All right, guys. Well, it is just turning to shit here. On the last day of the fall of 2021, uh, here in the Point Lonesome Swamp and the uh, Oasis of Freedom here, the final day of the fall of 2021, which would be, it is now Monday, December 20th, 2021. Yes, as the rain moves in and the skies darken and just a, you know, just a wet blanket of depression descends onto the Point Lonesome Swamp here on this uh, gray, dark, depressing, slitcher wrist kind of fucking day. Here in the end times, as we head into Christmas week, yes, the holidays, what a time for a depressed, lonely heart to uh, sink deeper into his gloom. And uh, so anyway, but the mainstream media has come to the rescue of those of us feeling depressed in the holidays. All right, if you are depressed and lonely here over Christmas and, of course, New Year's Eve, this could be the first New Year's Eve coming up that I have ever spent alone uh, in my entire life. I might finally be heading into a New Year's Eve alone in the Point Lonesome Swamp, but that will be another rant for another night. Uh, right now, just in case any of you are finding yourselves uh, bored, depressed, and above all, lonely, uh, let the mainstream media uh, cheer you up on the gloomy last day of fall as winter rolls in tomorrow all right so this is uh let's see this is expert tips expert tips on how to deal with loneliness all right and i think we're going to hear from uh this is a what is uh, this woman's name? Where are you, darling? Uh, don't panic. Do not corona panic. There are things you can do to help mitigate your loneliness. Maria Micah. Maria Micah, she could sure as shit uh, mitigate my loneliness. Good God, girl. I wish you would come here and mitigate my loneliness. Uh, she is a clinical mental health counselor, hypnotherapist, and corporate trainer with 24 years of clinical experience. And she has some useful tips for all of us to put into action to deal with our loneliness. Yes. Number one. Try to find happiness within yourself. People who feel content have a lot of hobbies, a happy list of things you would like to do, not the th things that we're all obliged to do. Yes. And I, I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you'll have to interpret this yourself. All right. If you disengage from the thought that, you're, that you are lonely and there is no one around at that particular moment, you may feel abandoned by your friends. But I can guarantee that your friends are feeling the same way. Close quote. There you go. That, 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 uh, that certainly cheers me up on Christmas. All right. Ms. Micah says, just reach out and contact people you know. Make the first move with a plan in mind. 
Yes, even something as simple as meeting up for a walk or a meal can take the edge off your loneliness. Another idea, start planning. Start planning. Quote, have a box of things that you would like to do. A box of things you would like to do. Could be projects, photos of places that you would like to go, ideas for sewing, anything. Yes, close quote. You can also take the time out to learn something new, suggest Miss Micah. Picking up a new craft or hobby, joining a community group, volunteering for a charity group are all good ideas. Yes. Quote, most of us feel bored. We feel uninspired. We don't get to see our friends. We can't wait to get to do all those things that we would do under normal circumstances. But if you use this extra time to recreate your life or to understand your true dreams, now you have the time to do all the things that you've always wanted to do. Loneliness is something that is unique to humans. And it is a state of mind. So, if you just decide that you will no longer be lonely, your life will feel completely different. Even when you're sitting there alone, I guess. Uh, there you go. But, uh, you know, the, the cruelty of the, uh, of, of the mainstream media. So right next to that story, if you enjoyed expert tips on how to deal with loneliness, they say maybe you will enjoy this, uh, this article right next to it. The best new sex toys to try now. This is by Erica Kim. Imagine getting paid to uh, research sex toys. Yes. All right. Here is a look at some of the best new sex toys for solo play. Oh, I get it. This is uh, th this is the one they didn't mention in the list of. Uh, okay, here's a look at some of the best new sex toys for solo play and couples. And uh, so see if you can uh, figure out the theme between uh, these these various sex toys. Okay. Let's see. Oh, they have it rated. Uh, I get it. I didn't. Uh... All right. We have. I get it. Uh, first, the girls. All right, if you are a lonely girl, uh, their number one recommendation is the We Vibe Melt for a cool $150. Yes, thanks to its ergonomic shape, uh, it does not leave your hands feeling numb after a few minutes of use. Yes, the patented air pleasure technology sends gentle suction and pulsating waves to your clitoris without 
overstimulating it. It comes with a two-year warranty and is waterproof. Yay! It can be controlled through an app. All right, and that one is a little too expensive for the lonely girls with only $82 to play with themselves. Uh, the Iroha RIN Plus. Yes. The RIN Plus looks nothing like a vibrator and everything like a small piece of modern art. Yes. Uh, it does double duty serving as both an external and internal pleasure tool. Uh huh. Yes. And it has an anti dust coating to keep it clean, you know, between. Uh... All right. So then they go from. All right, those were their, the two tops for the lonely girls. So this, I don't know if this is for loneliness. This is if you've actually found someone that you uh, a uh, that you want to have sex with and who wants to have sex with you and, and, and guys I, I do need to make a little bit of a ham bone uh, amplification and disclaimer here you know someone was asking me recently if I was a member of the incel community here online the online incel I N C E L uh, community. I had to go look up what that meant and because I, I had no clue whether I was or was not and apparently the incel community is talking about people particularly men and particularly young men but I guess in my case crotchety old men who whine and bitch all the time uh, how they cannot find a woman or I guess a uh, I guess there's some women out there who act like they can't find a hard cock uh, y y you know I've uh, any woman on this planet okay uh, here's the essential double set any woman on this planet who really wants to find a hard cock all right, and, and doesn't want to spend eighty-two to one hundred and fifty dollars to do it. Can find a hard cock uh, by tomorrow morning. I guarantee you that. Uh, all this crap, women complaining like like they they can't find a, a, a fucking dick out there. But uh, it, it, anyway, I'm getting off course. Oh yeah, the the uh, amplification and disclaimer. Uh, you know, since I have been whining, what will it be? February will be three years uh, since I have, I have been laid. So, but I, I don't want uh, anybody jumping to the conclusions that I have not had the opportunity to get laid uh, in, in the last three years. Uh, there is a, a, a small asterisk and, and, and that is I have not had the opportunity to get laid by a woman that I want to have sex with, which pretty much, let, let's be honest, girls, means uh, I, I, any woman with a, uh, a, a, a any woman with a BMI over 23, I have no interest, in, uh, and, and I have actually had several invitations from uh, with, with from women with BMIs over 23, I simply have no interest uh, in it, and of course there has been one woman uh, for the past two and a half years whose BMI I don't think is over 16, uh, and. Uh, as much as I would like to have sex with her and as much as she claims as recently as two days ago that she wants to have sex with me, it would be nice if, if you do uh, have a BMI uh, under 23 uh, or under 17 in her case 
uh, it would be real nice if you were not batshit crazy and married and live 700 miles away. It would be a little nicer uh, if, if you weren't batshit crazy, married, and, and living hundreds of miles away. Uh, but I just want you to understand that I could be having sex with fat women, as pretty much any guy could. Like It's like any woman, including any fat woman, could be having sex tonight on this planet. And pretty much any man on the planet could be having sex with a fat woman tonight. Anyway, but uh, I'm getting off course here. So, in case you have found a partner that you want to have sex with and that wants to have sex with you, I'm a little unclear why you need to bring a $110, oh, they're talking about cock rings. There you go, uh, these vibrating cock rings. Uh, I have some, uh, I have some vague memory of vibrating cock rings, but they're 90% for the uh, pleasure of the woman. But uh, if you have $190 to spend. Uh, if you are deciding to invest in a premium sex toy, meaning $190, the Lilo Tor 2. Yes, uh, from the Swedish luxury toy maker, which is an oral sex stimulator for women. An oral sex stimulator for women. I, I, I would have to really dissect that one. An oral sex stimulator for women. I mean, is, is it a fucking tongue dildo they're talking about? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, that was just an aside. That was if, if you're a that 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 was one that what's her face just recommends to the girls. Back to couples. Yes, this is another cock ring. All right, uh, has six stimulation modes and is 100% waterproof. Uh, I guess if you're fucking underwater. Okay. But don't forget the Lonely Boys. All right. I guess I have two choices here. You're all Doomsday Lonely Heart. For $129, the We Vibe Bond. Bond is the undercover stimulation ring that can be worn under your clothing so that foreplay can begin even outside the bedroom. It is comfortable to wear even for long periods of time. It is easy to slip on and adjust and has 10 vibration modes. And then they get back to talking about uh, using it on your girlfriend. You know, this is a bunch of shit. Every one of these things it, 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 are for girls. Okay, for $350 fucking dollars, can I find something to fuck uh, on this planet? $350, finally. I, I, I think uh, a sex toy that really can be used by a man with no woman aside. We know Lilo's FIS V2A sounds more like a Tesla car model than anything else. Jokes aside, this sleeve, okay, it is a sleeve. 
uh, is powerful thanks to the brand's Sensonic technology. The, it emits powerful sonic waves, powerful sonic waves that permeate deep into the erogenous zone for a more intense experience. It can be controlled with an app. Yes, and you can take it into the shower if you decide to do the deed there. So for 350 bucks, I can have the, uh, I guess that's what, so basically five out of six of these things are, are for women and this sleeve I don't know about it, guys. Uh, $350. I think I'll stick with pile of fish. And so then, if you're not depressed enough, so if you enjoyed that article, then they take you to the next article. <clears throat> Study reveals the reverse cowgirl. The reverse cowgirl is Singapore's most favored sex position. So uh, if you're over in Singapore looking for pussy, uh, they would uh, recommend you suggest the reverse cowgirl position. Of course, this is a report of most favored sex positions for countries in Asia. This is some really important news on the mainstream media this morning. Uh, according to the report, folks in Singapore love the reverse cowgirl, a literal spin on the traditional girl on top position. The reverse cowgirl has the receiver, that would be the girl, sit on top with their backs turned toward the giver. Yes. All right. Uh, Hong Kong also joining Singapore. Much like Singapore, Hong Kongers too love their reverse cowgirl. We get it though. What's not to love? The position literally gives the giver literally sets the giver up for an optimal view of their partner's bum. Yes. Okay, let's go over to Indonesia where we find the pretzel position. The pretzel position is what is most popular for couples in Indonesia. Similar to the missionary position, the pretzel has partners facing each other but with a slight twist. Instead of lying on her back, the receiver lies on her side while the giver enters the way they would during missionary. Yes, essentially giving partners a little more intimacy this position is said to be popular in the UK as well. But uh, I think India takes the top honors as uh, <laughs> I, I, I have to say, guys, that unfortunately there is not a, uh, a photo to exactly illustrate what they're talking about. In India, the standing 69 the standing 69 prevails as the sex position of choice. But honestly, we think India is on to something here. Not only is this position pretty intimate, but it is also pretty physically strenuous. To do this, one partner, I'm assuming the stronger of the two, stands upright while the other 
is flipped over, possibly in a sort of handstand-like position. I'm sure, uh, guys, I, I don't know about you, uh, as interesting as that sounds, uh, number one, I, I guarantee you uh, that you're going to have an easier time finding women in India with BMIs less than 23. Hopefully with that position, a BMI uh, uh, of less than 16. Uh, but I don't know about you. Uh, I'm not sure uh, I want my dick in the mouth of some woman uh, in a handstand hanging off my shoulders. Uh, I, I can see all sorts of uh, things going wrong here, but uh, I, I'm really not uh, too concerned about having my dick in the mouth of a, of a skinny Indian woman uh, doing a handstand hanging off my shoulders with my dick in her mouth, although there is a chance I am heading to Auroville, India uh, next winter and uh, looking at the YouTube videos of Auroville, India if, uh, if, if Hambone doesn't get laid in the, uh, in the reverse cowgirl uh, the pretzel and whatever else he only has himself to blame uh, but <laughs> that's next year I have got to get through uh, this year but I've got my little dog so uh, how could I be lonely how could I be lonely in the Point Lonesome Swamp with this little dog you know nowhere in that article about loneliness do they suggest getting a little dog? Uh, what do you think, little dog? Anyway, I am back to my lonely, depressing, pointless existence as winter time as the first winter rains roll in to the Point Lonesome Swamp. I highly suggest you get out there and uh, enjoy the reverse cowgirl position while you still can. Bye, guys.